There are very few surviving examples of Tasmanian made silverware made by convicts from melted down scraps of silver. Now a rare and valuable collection of colonial silver has made its way home to the state more than 150 years after it was created. These commemorative silver cups and salvers were made by convicts transported to Van Diemen's land in the early 1800s. There are only eight pieces, but it's the largest collection of Tasmanian colonial silver. It's extremely rare and the main reason for that is because it was only really made for about 15 or 20 years. There were no silver mines, so pieces of unfashionable silverware, cutlery and coins brought by early settlers were melted down to create commemorative pieces. One of the objects in the case is reputed to have been made from melt, melted down Spanish dollars. So that's kind of quite an interesting story with that. And it is actually a different colour from the other silver. Decorated with kangaroos, emus and wattle, these are some of the first pieces of decorative art to feature Australian motifs. They were presented to early colonists to acknowledge contributions to moral and economic development. The making of silverware in Tasmania depended on the skills of convict craftsmen and stopped when transportation ended in 1853. Around the same time, the Victorian gold rush was drawing skilled artisans to Melbourne. With the rise of Melbourne, um, it became more economical to import silver from Melbourne. And also the Melbourne retailers were importing high quality silver from London, so that was bringing that quite close as well. So basically the market ceased to exist after about 1850. More than 150 years later, the colonial silver has returned home and will be on permanent display at the Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery. Cara Douglas, ABC News.